is up YouTube now, so Team Fairy Tales back with another deck profile. Um, this one was kind of requested, and I've okay, this is kind of trapped. Kind of been playing this deck a lot, kind of just on my own. Um, this is my legend deck that you guys have probably seen me use a couple. I want to say a couple times I've used this deck for um, videos, but yeah, um, this is just the deck I've been I've been using. Um, legends, eh, I'll get into it, but um, anyway, let's get started. So. First off, the starters undo. It's it's undo. I mean, like it, it, counterblast ones. Put it in soul. Get an overlord from your deck. It's pretty good. Sets up the ace pretty consistently, um, which is why we actually don't have. I'll get into it. Um, then I have twelve crit four heal. Uh, four heal. Pretty standard. Um, <laughs> if you actually want to play this deck competitively, you should be playing mother orb dragons. It's a flame dragon, so you can search it off the end. Off not the end. Off the legend. But um. You should be running all flame dragon triggers because you know you can do that. Um, some people run for Gatling Claw. Gatling Claw is still okay. I, I just prefer having. If I want, I'm gonna have a restand. I want to restand it with crits so I can kill you. Cause yeah. Um, raid ones. Four stride enabler because you know the, you need to stride and like you, if you can't stride you lose. Like that's 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 just how it is. Um, four Conro because Conro. Um, Check text out, um, turns any grade threes into overlords. And then also it counter charges, so it lets you counter charge four if you want. It's kind of good. Um, four protect orb, because it's a flame dragon PG that unflips. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, pretty good. Then two Grom, Grom on call, soul blast two, unflip two. Um, you have one, so you generally have three soul, you're grade zero, you're grade one, you're grade two. Two for Grom, one for the legend skill. Um, so yeah. It's so, um, the dip, the reason why I run Grom is because Karno, you have to attack to get the unflip. Grom, you get it right away, so you can do things with Grom, um, unless you just do extra things that you, um, Karno can't cover for. For grade, uh, twos, we're running three Burning Horn, Burning Horn's a 12k attacker, um, if you have an Overlord Vanguard, which you always will, I'll get into that in a bit, um, and that's pretty much it, um. It's mainly good. It's mainly good there just for Grom because Grom, as you notice, is five k. So he has that little issue with him. But other than that, I mean, he's still pretty good. Um, and he is searchable off the Legend skill. You can grab it, Burning Horn off the Legend skill, which is the other reason why I ran him. Um, so three of him, four Berserk Lord. Um, Berserk Lord just lets you feel control with the deck. If you use the Ace, you can and Conro, you can essentially retire. Um, you can retire. You can um basically you know you can. You can make your retires pretty um, good because it counter because counter counter charges, but then the berserk lord costs one, so you can so you can basically make counter a counter charge one or counter charge two, which is still pretty good. Um, he's good for field control against decks that rely on the rear guards a lot. And then for Nihalem, the Nihalem's a 11k attacker, and if you have the ace, he's a 21k attacker. And even if you don't, he's still 16 on his own, which is pretty good, um, pretty nice. Then for grade four, is running for the legend because this is the legend deck. You have to, you know, you're running four. Um, on he is gem break two is counter blast one, discard a grade three flame dragon. He gets fifteen thousand power, grade plus one, drive plus one, and after he attacks your rear guard, um, you discard three and you stand him. So he gets you get six drive checks, pretty strong. Um, the ability is okay. Um, it's not as like good as everyone thought it was, but I'm, I'll admit it's not as bad as I thought it was. But it's still. It's okay. There are situations where you definitely want to use it. Um, then his on right skill is counter blast one, soul blast one. When you ride him, check your top five for a flame dragon, edit your hand. You have essentially all your triggers. Um, you have your stride enabler, four year stride enabler, so that's what, 24? No, 20, yeah, 24, 32, um, 35, 39, and then seven others, so 46 total targets. Wait, that's not right. That's definitely not right. There should be less. It's it's a lot. Um, <laughs> okay, it's not 46. I'm bad at math, but essentially you only have Nahalem and Grom and Con and Conro as um, non-targets, so you're going to hit something. <laughs> um, so it's pretty nice. Um, and then we have four Spherical Lord Dragon. Spherical Lord is the grade 3 version of the Holem, essentially. He's, you know, 16k. He's like a 16 to 21k dagger, depending if you're straight and all that. And then on ride, you counter blast two, shoot your deck for an overlord, ride it, and then put, call it to rear and call your overlord rear guard circle. So you're always, always gonna have a overlord vanguard unless you have one damage when you're at grade three. But that's pretty rare. 
Then for our massive G zone, um, I actually split it up into two because it would have been like everything would have been hell small. So we run two Novel um, Novel Express. Even though G guards exist, you can still definitely cheat some games off this. Lord knows I've done it. Um, kind of is if you don't know his he's Jumper two kind of boss one Persona flip. Um, your opponent can't guard with just grade one units. Essentially, they can't perfect guard him. And um, if your opponent has five more damage, no triggers. Like no, so no, they can't stick damage heal. Um, he's still pretty nice. You can still definitely cheat some games off with him. He's a more of a situational thing, but he's definitely still pretty good. I mean, your opponent's gonna have to use those G guards sometime, right? Um, then I run one Vortex Desire. Vortex Desire skill is on attack, um, flip anything, and then he gets a skill of on hit. Uh, kill two of your grade, uh, two of your opponents grade two or less for your guards. So he pretty much acts like, oh, I'm just gonna get jump break two right away. He's generally your first try just because you want you want to get jump break two right away in case you know something. You know, the the, the legend skill is pretty strong. Um, then we run three, three Titan. Um, his skill is jump break two counter uh, counter boss one. Choose a face up card, uh, card in your G's up, don't and flip it face up. Um. And then for every copy of him in face up in your G zone, you choose that many amount of your opponent's rear guards and retire them. And then um, it gets like the, it's um, blaze. It also gets a skill that if it's blazing, it gets an extra critical. So generally, what you want to do is you want to try Vortex Desire and you want to flip a copy of him. Then, depending on your situations, you can go into him and you can flip. Um, you can either flip another copy of him to retire two, or you can flip one of your four copies of the of the next card, which is the Ace. Um, counter boss two, Persona flip, uh, loses twin drive. It goes down to twin drive, but after it attacks, a van after it attacks a vanguard or anything, I think for that matter. Uh, you're gonna attack the vanguard anyway, so who cares? Um, you discard an overlord, another card in your hand, and it restands and gets five K power. I run four. Um, even though we only have four overlords, you do have ways to put your overlords back in your deck, and you do have undo to search it out. And it's not, and yeah, it's a counter boss four, but you have counter to sort of mitigate that. So, it's not, it's not that uncommon that you might, that you could end up going to the ace twice. Um, I've done it quite a bit too, so, I mean, it's there if you need it. And also, I mean, you can just flip it for Titan too, Those, that's a thing you can do as well. And then, for the last part of our G zone, two Root Flare, because Root Flare, uh, Persona Flip, Retire a Column, it's too good, it gets Patch Resist and all that too. Um, two Denial Griffin, Denial Griffin, it's... I don't want to say it's but it's up there. It's definitely up there. It's debatable. Gear Chronicles has some pretty good G Guardians too, but um, it's one of the best G Guardians. Uh, kind of us one retire the attacking unit. Kind of, yeah, it's pretty good. Retire. It's it. Oh, it wrecks Aqua Force's day so bad. Oh, uh, it even can wreck Great Nature's day too, for that matter. Oh, uh, it, it just it wrecks a lot of um, it wrecks um, what you call it. It wrecks uh, rear guard dependent decks. Um, one defeat flare dragon. Defeat flare skill is kind of like an algorithm, but he's kind of better. Kind of last one. Choose two grade three or greater flame dragons in your drop zone. So basically, any two grade threes, because both both your grade threes are flame dragons. Put them on the bottom of your deck, and um, when your va when your um, vanguard overlord and his name is attacked by your opponent's vanguard by their vanguard, that's important. Um, you kill their entire back row. And that um that also kills the boost from the if they have a vanguard boost that kills the vanguard boost as well, uh so that's pretty mean. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. Um and lastly we run one um flame emperor dragon king Azbol orb dragon um which it's the fighter's clutch one it's placed on guardian circle if your opponent has four more four less regards it's a twenty k shield um it's because you're not always gonna have the counter blast for denial griffin and denial griffin can't really. Um, if you can't use Defeat Flare, you can still, um, use Absolute Orb to protect against Vanguard attacks, since then Al Griffin is mainly just, like, kill annoying rear guards, and it doesn't really, I mean, it's still 15k shield, but it doesn't do as, it doesn't, I'd rather have the 20k shield against the Vanguard, and we only do it in one copy, so it's not that big a deal, and it definitely does come in handy as well, and also just, you know, if you want, if you can, like, you, it's just too good, it's too handy to, it's just too handy. Um... But yeah, that's the deck. Um, Legend's pretty actually strong. The on-ride skill's pretty good. Um, Circle Lord also very, very good unit. There's another 
kind of overlord variant that you can use the Shirical Lord, but I'll get into that. I might, I probably will do an echo from that too. Um, that runs a slightly different build, but you can abuse some interesting things with the effect and everything. But yeah, um, oh, that's been the deck profile. Uh, leave any comments, questions, or whatever down below in the comment box. This has been Natsu slash QBF Team Fairy Tale, signing out.